I hope everyone's okay. Just a quick update on how the pond's getting on. Made a few changes to it over the last couple of days. Uh, there's a new fish. Seems to be settling in all right. It's um, still not really coming up and eating that much, even though it's sort of swimming around with all the other fish. Um, and I have seen it flash a couple of times, although I've done a scrape on it and um, can't find anything on it. So I think it might still just be stressed from sort of the change of environment. It's only been in a few days really. But anyway, I was getting quite fed up with um, getting a lot of foam on the top of the surface. So I decided to have a little change around with my skimmer. Um, before I had a little DIY shower filler which pumped from the skimmer um, set up. But it was really restricting the flow of the skimmer. It wasn't really taking any of the any of the foam off the top of the surface. So I've taken that off now and um, it's made quite a big difference straight away to the clarity of the water. Um, but one thing I have done though is where I modified it. Um, it used to pump the water straight down but where I modified it it now pumps the water out at an angle and it was attached onto a hose pipe fitting. But I've, I've left it pumping out the water at an angle so there's sort of quite a bit of flow going around the pond and the fish seem to really like swimming in the flow. So I think I'll leave it like that. Um, some of the alpha grog that I had from that um, little DIY shower I put into two little floating um, planters. I haven't really got any plants to put in it yet because I can't get hold of any but hopefully I'll get some in um, when this is all back over, all over and I can do some shopping. Yeah, all the fish seem to be doing all right. I've got this um, spawning rope put in as well because we're forecast a couple of hot days over the next few days and I've seen a few fish chasing around looking like they might spawn. Um, I'm not planning on raising any fry but just to give them something to spawn against so they don't bash themselves up on the pond too much. I'm not sure if you can if you can see that there. Obviously they've stopped now, I've started videoing it, but that um the grey fish, I think it's a sorogoy. It's definitely a male is a was chasing that fish round a second ago. So she's definitely ready to spawn. I always seem to get a bit of food that goes into the skimmer. And uh, these two fish in particular, they're always um, always helping on getting every last bit. I mean that Ashiba in particular, it, it all but gets on top of that floating skimmer. I mean, there's not really any sharp edges on it, so I don't think it's going to damage itself. It's uh, it's quite funny to to watch it, see it, try and get it all. It's realised I'm filming it now, and it's come straight back over. This fish is just so friendly. As soon as I put my fingers in the water, it's uh, it's straight there every time. I could literally lift it out of the water if I wanted to, and it's not even bothered. Never really known a fish be quite so tame. I mean, they're all pretty tame, really, but this one in particular, it's just, it's not bothered at all. It'll just come straight back, look. You're just greedy, aren't you? The other interesting thing is, um, when I treated the pond, it must have been about a month ago now. I um, obviously I turned off my UV light while the treatments were in, and um, I completely forgot to turn it back on. And uh, so it's been about a month now, and the water's still, you know, still totally clear. Uh, I don't know whether to just leave it off. Just kind of seems like a bit of a waste of electric if um. If the water's not going green, I'm not sure how long it normally takes. I don't know if anybody else knows. Um, since I've had this shower running, I've got zero nitrates in the pond, so I don't know if that's got anything to do with um, to do with the clarity. I mean, as you can see, that's all the fish down by the bottom drain. That's um, four foot down there, and you know, it's still crystal clear. 
yeah, who knows. So I'm going to give them all their evening feed. Um, see if this new crush boy comes up for any food this time. It's been a bit shy up until... Oh no. It's getting stuck in this time. <laughs> we'll see. As I go to video it to show that it's not really feeding. That yellow oak, I'm still not totally healed from where it got grabbed by a heron last year. I'm hoping now the water's warmed up. That's gonna that's gonna clear up soon. Uh, I've treated it a few times now, but it doesn't seem to be totally healing. You gonna have some more food? Anyway, all the rest of the fish are feeding well. I think the water's it's going up really quickly in temperature now. It was about 13 degrees this morning. I think it's just over 16 now this evening. Uh, it's forecast to be about 21 degrees tomorrow, so I think it's going to um, I think it's going to go up even higher. But I think the fish will probably spawn in the next day or so. I'll um, I'll do my best to try and try and video it if I if I can catch them. Yeah, I hope everyone else is doing well. Um, I like watching everyone else's pond videos. It's something to keep me occupied while we're all in all in lockdown. So hopefully going back to work soon. I'll uh, I'll certainly miss getting to spend all this time out watching the fish anyway. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.